Hello, and welcome to Kids Storytime Online by Navea. I will be reading out loud in English the story, Giraffes Can't Dance. It's by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Rees. This should be a fun book. Look at the giraffe is flipped upside down. <laughs> that looks like he's having a good time. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Let's get started with the book. Hmm. All right, look at the scene. This is nice. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We're looking at the giraffe, and it looks like a trees. And it looks like he's walking in a safari or something. Let's see what this says. We'll get closer to this. Hmm. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Well, that's Gerald. Okay, let's see what Gerald is up to. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what have we now? It looks like Gerald is eating something. Let's get closer and see what it says. All right, Gerald, what are you eating? He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. Wow, can you imagine being that tall and be able to eat off of a tree? I can't imagine that. Let's see what Gerald is up to. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh, poor Gerald. He's kind of clumsy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he fell and there's a turtle looking at him. Let's see if we can get closer to that turtle looking at him. Oh boy, Gerald, how did you fall down? It's kind of awkward, huh? He seems to have trouble walking around. Okay, it's when he's running too. So we have to see what happened. Ooh, there's a lot happening on this page. Let's see if we can zoom out and get the full page. All right. It says here, and we can get over here and see what it's saying. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Wow, look at all the different animals. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Oh boy. Look at all the different animals. We have a lion here and a lioness, zebras. Um, let's see if we can see all the different animals. There's so many on this page. Let's see if we can zoom in and see who's on this page. Uh, looks like water buffalo. Oh, look at the hippos. Can you see the hippos? They're laughing. Um, it looks like a leopard. Several leopards. They're laughing. Monkeys. These look like ant eaters. Snakes. Oh, there's so many different animals. And poor Gerald. He's just sitting there watching them. Okay, let's see what our next page brings us. Oh, boy. The water hogs. Warthogs, that's what their names are. Okay, the warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. 
That's so cute. Look at the rhinos. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Oh boy, look at that. Wow, everybody has something going on. Oh me, oh my. Okay. <laughs> we got to see everyone. Let's see what's happening with Jerhoff. Okay. Gerald swallowed bravely, but as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. I think they were roaring because they were laughing at him. Poor Gerald. Oh, they were all laughing at him. Have you ever been clumsy trying to do something and... You didn't feel good about doing it, so you didn't do it. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Oh, the zebras are calling out at him and the antelope. Oh, that's so sad. I feel sorry for Gerald. Don't you? Gerald, everybody's picking on you. Look at all of them in a circle. Okay, let's see what happens on the next page. <gasps> Gerald, what's happening? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clop. Oh, Gerald, don't feel that way. Okay. Let's get closer to this page and see what's being said. So he crept off from the dance floor and he startled, started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. Oh, Gerald, don't give up. He's walking home. He left this party and they're all there laughing. Let's see what's done. He's looking at the moon. Mm -hmm. Gerald, why are you looking at the moon? Let's see what you come up with. You must be thinking something. And then he found a clearing. He looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Oh, Gerald. I'm sorry you're feeling that way. Let's look at what Jerl is looking at. Okay, there's something here. Let's see what's being said. Hmm. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who seen Jerl earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Oh, that was so sweet. The cricket is telling him that. We can't see. Oh, can you see the cricket? He's right there beside the moon. Let's see if we can zoom in and see the cricket better. See him right there? There he is. That's the cricket, and he's talking to Gerald. Yeah. A little teeny creature telling him to feel a little more, to feel better about himself. Okay, let me get the whole picture here. Alrighty, let's see what the next page holds. Hmm, let's see what Gerald is talking about. Alright. Let's get closer. Listen to the swaying grass. Listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can see what's being said. And I think the cricket or either Jerl is just dreaming and thinking about that. 
So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. And that's true. That's so true. Let's see what we have here. Let's get quiet, far off so we can see the whole picture. Isn't that beautiful? The moon is behind his ears and he's thinking out loud. Poor girl. You think he'll ever be able to dance? Do you think he'll ever be able to get beyond that feeling of not knowing how to dance? With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. Let's get a little closer so you can read the words too. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying. His tail was swooshing around. Oh, look, Gerald is getting to feel like he's going to dance. That's awesome. Gerald, what are you doing? All right, he's happy. Let's see what else is happening with Gerald. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's catch what's happening here. <laughs> oh, he threw his legs sideways, out and sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped into the air. Look at Gerald. Oh my goodness. Look at Gerald. He's gained his confidence and he's dancing. Yes, he is. He's doing the giraffe dance. <laughs> okay, let's see what the next page is about. He is happy, happy. That's great. I'm happy for Gerald. Let's see what he's talking about. <laughs> Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was wide open. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald, he cried. Oh, Gerald is so happy. He's telling everybody that he's dancing. Look at that smile on him. Oh, boy, he's way up in the air. <laughs> I'm happy for Gerald too, aren't you? Okay, let's see. All right, look at him. He's just really taking off. Wow. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entrenched. Look at all of them watching and jealous now. <laughs> that is too cute. They shouted. <clears throat> they shouted. It's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Look at that. They're giving Gerald all kinds of compliments. Gerald is boogieing up a storm. He's dancing and dancing and prancing. He is happy. Aren't you happy for Gerald? Oops. Okay. Let's see what else is going to happen here. All right. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is so true. All right. And that's the story of Gerald. Oh, so that's what we have to do. We have to have music that we love, that we feel, that we feel comfortable with, and we're able to. Let's see. Okay. So, everyone's looking up at the moon. 
All right, then that was the end of our story. And this was dedicated to my cousins at Sandbank Banks, Georgia. And uh, he mentions their names, so that was just something that the um, author did later. So, giraffes can't dance. Well, he made that not true. Because giraffes can dance, and we found that out. So we need to know the next book that we'll be talking about. And this should be a fun book. This book, the book is called Noisy Farm. Noisy, Noisy Farm. Oh boy, there we are. That should be a fun book. That book talks to us. So we'll have to do that at another date. And you'll like it, I'm quite sure. It has fur on it, and it also has noise that it makes of the animals. Let's see if we can make the noise. Oh boy, that's a cow. So you got something to look forward to. Let's see if you can make noise with all these animals in here. The noise of the pig, the noise of the chicken, and the noise of the cow. Alrighty, we'll see you in the next book, Noisy Farm. This is Nevaeh. Please subscribe. Bye now.